Cosmetics.com in the eye of the hurricane down here in Florida. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, this floor motor is running right now. Squirrel cage sucking in everything. It's blowing like crazy. Anyway, I get a lot of questions asked. How do I test out a floor motor to find out if it's good or bad or whatever? You know, I check out the run cap. It doesn't look bulge or anything. We're going to take some voltage readings. All right, let's do that real quick. The first thing we're going to do is turn this freaking thing off because it's going to suck all you guys with your mullets that are three feet long. It's going to suck your hair in and pull you right on in. So, what are we going to do? Let's just yank the disconnect. And let's do this like civilized people do. Shut this blower motor off. All right, I'm going to pause it there. We're going to do part two. We're going to set up on some, um, take some voltage readings. We're going to look right there at a relay, which is our relay right there. We've also got our voltage right there on the side of the motor. So we're going to check some voltage readings. We can do it at the relay. We can do it right down there on a demand for cool. And we don't have to have this thing blowing and sucking in everything all over your house, all over your hair. And then where you're working anyway, it's nasty. All right, back in a sec. All right, guys, back here, Merrick from thermal-medics.com on this blower motor. Anyway, blower motor's not working. It's operating intermittently. You know, if you catch this thing, it's not working right. You obviously, you check the run cap out. We turn the motor off because we're going to use our brains instead of, of uh, being idiots here and getting our hair sucked into the motor and everything else and our meter. Anyway, sorry, the light keeps flashing on and off. Just that camera wants to light it all up. Anyhow, two places to check. First, how do you know where to check? Well, we're going to look at the schematic first on find out what power is actually getting to the blower motor. It's not rocket science. You guys can figure it out pretty quick. But actually, that's our blower motor right there, three-speed motor. And this, this yellow, black, and orange on the normally open switch between that nine and six pin, normally open and orange. That's a black and orange wire. We come around to the side over here. Of course, now the light's going to kick on. we got an orange and we got a black wire. Let's pull those two leads real quick, and we can take a voltage reading right there. What we're going to do is pull those off, put a meter up to it on those two leads, and we're going to ask for a demand for cool at the thermostat. Or actually, we're going to plug in our, we already have it on the thermostat. We're going to plug back in or disconnect and take a meter reading. Okay, hang on right there. All right, guys, what's up? Merritt back here at thermal com part three. Uh, anyway, real quick, got our meter set up here. 600 volts, we're in the range. What is it? Pulled off that common orange wire. And I pulled up the black wire, hook my leads up to it, no sweat there. So basically what we're doing is just taking the leads off of the motor and we're just putting our probes onto it just to check and see what's going on. That way we don't have to have the motor running, sucking all of our crap into it while it's trying to, why it's, uh, you know, we're sitting here trying to take readings and it's like a hurricane, okay? So what we're going to do is just plug around and disconnect, back in. What do we get there? Boom, 235 volts. We're looking for about 230 to 240 volts. Bingo, right on the money. So we do have voltage at the motor where it's supposed to be getting voltage. So what's that? That means the motor is bad. If the run capacitor is good, that means the motor is bad. So again, we checked it right here at the leads at the motor. We asked for demand for cool at the thermostat. We turned on the fan motor, doing it the smart way. We got 235 volts. I'll pull the disconnect. What do we get? Zero volt. We turned on the green. Wire at the thermostat, we're asking for 240. What do we got? 240, we're getting 240, so we're getting power there. What do we blame? The load, the motor. The motor's bad, guys, that's how it works. Take care, Merrick from thermal-medics.com. Thanks for all the beers. Take care, everybody, and see you. No more hurricanes, all right? Take care.